It'll be uh, Hong Kong China to get us underway. Kicker giving her chases a signal. She goes straight up the middle and finds some space over the back of the uh, Chinese Taipei side. A ball bobbling around and oh, it's an early mistake in a tough position here for the Chinese Taipei side to defend. Great opportunity for Hong Kong China here. Scrum five metres out from the line, right in the centre of the field. Yeah, great position for early attack. And it'll be Kwong and number 12 to feed for Hong Kong China. Some early push from uh, Taiwan, so Kwong taps and goes quickly. Looks for his support, draw and pass, and puts it down. And, and that's Mary Seeker in number 10. I think the Hong Kong girl learned from the UAE girl. <laughs> she put that board down properly right before the, um, before the angle area. Yep, good awareness of the space available. It's a good start from Hong Kong, China. Kwong steps up. Nice strike, but uh, just away to the right. It's a stro hard, strong start from um, Hong Kong, China with that well-placed restart, creating some early pressure. Chinese Taipei will look to do a better job of uh, securing position here. She's gone the same direction and found the same space, but this one could be rolling too far. And the ball's gone dead. It's down on that pitch earlier. It's quite a hard surface. So long bounces. And here's an opportunity for Chinese Taipei, their first chance with the ball. They tap it halfway. Low pass, but well picked up. Nice little bit of footwork there. Gets on the outside. And the defense has tracked her well and come across. So some good footwork there from uh, the Chinese Taipei player. Little right foot step and then glided through the gap, but uh, Hong Kong China up to it with the scramble defence to snuff out that attacking raid. Yeah, I thought she should have pinned her ear back and just go for this corner. Yeah. And uh, not straight though, so here's a chance for Chinese Taipei. They'll feed a scrum about seven metres out from the Hong Kong China goal line. This is actually one of the rare opportunity the the Chinese Taipei girl get to play. Um, I'm sure the girls' competition in um, Hong Kong is a lot a lot stiffer. Yep, they'll be uh, loving the opportunity to play in front of their home crowd here. And it's uh, number seven Zhuang who feeds it in. Ball's fired out. She's done well though. As Chinese Taipei look to build some pressure here. Through the tackle and gets the arms through. That's a lovely offload. Ooh. Some punishing defence coming in though. Not supporting her own body weight though. So it's a tap and go for Chinese Taipei. Once again meets with strong resistance from Hong Kong. But they're not onside. So tap and go. Charges Ooh. forward. And try, try to drew it over. And it's a try. Great work there by Chinese Taipei to get themselves back in the game. Yeah, once you tap that board, it was only one place you was going to go. Yep, number three. Low. With a strong carry. Teammates got behind her and provided that final momentum to get her across the line. 
and a well-struck conversion, but unfortunately it's a way to lift, so game on here. Five all. Two minutes to go in the first half. Be a good confidence booster for the local girls. as they have their first restart of the match. So they'll be looking to get up here and uh, put some pressure on the Hong Kong-China side. They've also gone down the centre, and the ball's been allowed to bounce as well, so making some good ground. But Hong Kong-China have secured it nicely. And a good pass, gets the arms free. There's a little bit of space here on the wide channel, but some good scrambling defence. Has created a turnover. Yeah, it was a little bit of a knock on from the Chinese Taipei girl. Okay. Actually, it's a Hong Kong China feed, so Kwong in number 12 will throw it in for Hong Kong China. Ball secured. And they look to move it out as we wrap around here oh lovely pass but it's, it's too hard initially thought it was on the money but a bit of a rocket and the uh, catcher unfortunately couldn't pull it in it was one of those situations you see the try line yeah I think she might have had a wee look in front of her before the ball came Wayne just a little bit yeah we've all done been guilty of that before a bit of a messy scrum here and the ball's bobbled out on the Hong Kong China side and it's been knocked on it's another feed in by the, the Hong Kong China team and uh, time's up in the second half so we'll maybe have one last play here Hong Kong China deep inside their own half and oh it's been knocked on do we have time for a scrum no we don't no we don't so a very competitive first half sees these two sides locked at five all yeah so about these the the women's side both games have been really really tight I decide I could win it yeah it's entertaining stuff for the crowd here um very competitive. Some end to end stuff with momentum changing quickly. Quite a short break in the uh, Sevens game, so probably not a lot of time to get too many messages out there. Maybe one key point to work on on attack and one on defence. I think uh, for both teams, actually, ball security will be important. Yeah, the, the handling out there is just a little bit on the loose side. But I guess we have to remember these are under-18 girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the effort's fine. They're yeah, going in strong, strong effort from both sides. Then the next uh, thing will be actually securing the kickoff. Both kickers have been out of fine space, so... And once you're deep inside your own half, it's quite hard to work your way out. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any change in the setup for the side receiving here. Yeah, the Hong Kong girls are, or the Hong Kong China girl, are due to receive. And they do look like they've dropped someone back, a couple of players back in the 22 to cover that deep kick that's been effective for both sides so far. China Taipei go short this time and it hasn't gone the 10 so early opportunity for Hong Kong China and Kwong charges forward, taps it quickly and they go ahead. 
held up. Now she's gone to ground. Got a release. Yeah. No, you've got a release once the knee hits the ground. And another penalty here. And we get a double blast on the whistle. They've been told to get back 10. Hong Kong, China. No, nice handoff there. Number two, Olivia Rigby. Strikes early. Got into a one on one situation and used that handoff and then showed some good speed to put it under the sticks. So. Yeah, you can hear we, we got a nice good crowd out here. It's a large, um, large contingent of supporter for the Hong Kong girl. Well, and uh, Kwong uses the woodwork, but it goes over. So Hong Kong China out to a 12 point to five lead now. Once again, they kick deep and find space over the back of uh, Chinese Taipei's receiving line. They look to move it out of their half, but some loose passing is putting them under pressure. And Hong Kong China have got in there and created a defensive penalty. I think the inexperience of the uh, the Chinese Taipei girls starting Strong to show a little bit. Help face. She drives towards the line, been held up, but there's a lot of uh, Chinese Taipei players around that ball, so now it could be some space. And a good read and spot tackle, but she was offside and taken quickly. And Ella Lynam goes in for. Hong Kong, China. So the Chinese Taipei players were really stretched there and she had to make that spot tackle, but unfortunately was offside and some quick thinking from uh, Hong Kong, China has resulted in a try to them. Stretches their lead out to 17 points to five. Conversion successful. So now it's a two score lead for Hong Kong, China. Yeah, I think as the game go on, you can see the experience of the Chinese Taipei team. They're gonna to start to show more and more. Lineham gets us underway, but the restart doesn't make it. So, here's an opportunity for Chinese Taipei. It'll be number seven, Zhuang, gets us underway. Strong carry over the gain line, but Hong Kong China in there contesting. And the ball carry got a little bit isolated and some good work from Hong Kong China at the breakdown there. Pass bobbles back behind. But unfortunately for Chinese Taipei, they didn't retreat 10 metres, so another quick tap. Or another tap for Hong Kong China. It's Kwong in 12. To get the arms free, it's bobbles bobbled back again. Wong dancing around, finding some space, and another penalty. High tackle there. Hong Kong China tap and go quickly through Fisher. Ah, lovely pass, but this one's gone behind. Fisher on the wraparound though, she's found some space, links in the inside, and try time for Hong Kong China, and it's Oliver Rigby in again, Olivia Rigby in again. That's the second try for Olivia. Yeah, I think, yep. 
run some good support lines today and been well re rewarded there. Doesn't hit that one as well as the previous two Kwong. Maybe the legs are a bit tired. It's been a fairly uh, frenetic game played at high pace despite the convincing score line we've got here. And with a little bit over a minute to go. Strong start to the tournament by Hong Kong China. Chinese Taipei started well, but have been shut out in the second half. Ball gets between those two Chinese Taipei players and does well to get a pass away. But that defensive pressure from Hong Kong China has forced an error again and there's too much space there and Hume, Elise Hume, uh, Elsie Hume in number 11 canters in for a try so it's really those kickoffs and that kick chase that's been a big issue for Chinese Taipei in the second half Wong strikes that one better. And 29 points to five. So time for one last kick. So Chan Si Hung, number seven. She'll get a wee cameo at the end here. Puts up a nice restart but well secured by Chinese Taipei and they've opted to go for the touchline which is fair enough they've had, had a lot of defending to do in this uh, second half so good start to Hong Kong China they look very strong but a good fight too from Chinese Taipei um, winning at half time 5 all Yeah, I think I think the like I said earlier, the the new experience of the 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 Taiwan girl, you can tell. So thirty-one guess, points to five. Yep. Yeah, I guess we're we're gonna take a little break, and then we'll come back with the men's draw. Okay, so there's a buy in this competition, so. Here's some good determined running from Hong Kong China and some uh, good covering defense from, sorry, from Chinese Taipei. Here's the Chinese Taipei try. Strong carry and a team get around to force her over the line. That was low and number three. Some good running from Hong Kong China. Olivia Rigby and two there, dots it down. Pretty much one-way traffic in the second half. Another try for Hong Kong China. That was number six, I think. Lynam. Nice little inside ball. And Olivia Rigby goes in for her second. Good support running from her. Nice passing here, good line. And Elsie Hume field. It'll be Thailand in their gold and navy blue hoops and Hong Kong China in the all red strip. Final preparations.
as I mentioned, conditions quite warm, low 30s, about 32, 33 degrees. Slight breeze that's just taking the edge off things a little and not that humid, so ball will be quite dry. They've had the sprinklers out uh, during the break to get a bit of moisture into this pitch, which is also extremely dry. You can probably see some dust kicking up as the players run, run around the field. And it looks like uh, Thailand will get us under the ray, underway with the restart through their number nine, Sathini. She drives a low one into the Hong Kong 22 and it's rebounded off the leg. So Thailand get the first opportunity with the rock. They shift it out towards the right. Backing herself to go on the outside. It gets a wee pass away, but it's gone loose into touch. So energetic start from Thailand, but the Hong Kong China defense was up to it. Well organized as ever. And Hong Kong China will throw into a line out just outside their 22. Not straight. So an early opportunity here for Thailand. They'll set a scrum, 15 in from touch on the right hand side of the field. About five meters out from the Hong Kong China 22. Lots of space here for Hong Kong China to defend. Out on the left, also quite a big blind side down the right hand flank. And it'll be a refeed to that scrum. What do you reckon Wayne? Chance for a little sneaky snipe down the uh, blind side or do you think they'll come out left? I mean, personally, I would go down the blind side, but... <laughs> First job securing the ball, and I've done that. They carry strongly into contact, looks to link up on the inside. Ball's gone loose, but it's gone backwards. So Thailand retaining position, but going backwards at the stage. Shifting it to the left. Mm. And the ball's gone backwards on the inside, and they've created a half a chance here. And she'll put the pace on, but she's shrugged off one tackle. The cover comes across and knocks her into touch. Yeah, at the early stage of this match, the Thailand boys, uh, the Thailand girls seem to want to push that ball out and utilize their speed on the outside. Hong Kong China successfully secured the line out this time. Difficult pass, so done well, well to pull that back in. Gets an offload away. Again, good hands. And some speed on the outside, but the cover of defence is equal to it. Gets an offload away. Kong in number 12, links with her support. Dragging the defence left and right across the field. Shum throws a wide ball. Gets into the support channel to clear the ruck. Tackler's got a release. They've been told by the referee, quick tap and go. And Colling that carries hard, and she gets met with strong resistance, but feeds the ball back on her own side. That was an unfortunate mistake, just in front of the ball carrier. And Thailand sweep onto the attack here. Oh, draw and pass. And that'll be a penalty. That final pass prevented by the hand. Under advantage at the moment, though, Thailand gets met in a strong tackle. So we'll go back to the initial knock-on. Just a knock-on. I thought it might have been deemed a deliberate knockdown. No, it looked like it was in the process of a tackle. So. Yeah, fair enough. Thailand feed another scrum just inside the Hong Kong half. Big numbers out to the right for them. Win it securely. Shifted into the centre. Little bit of footwork and a wraparound. They've created half a chance and the defence is up to it though. 
Tekla not rolling away. So once again, it'll be Thailand with possession just inside the Hong Kong China half. They've controlled uh, position pretty well from uh, from the kickoff so far. Referee got time off. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're just giving attention to one of the Thai girls. It seems like she's fine. Good to see. She's back out there, ready to go. So what can Thailand conjure up from this uh, free kick or penalty? Oh, they put through a weak rubber. Spotted some space at the back. The bounce will be important. Plays it through on her feet. And somehow Hong Kong China scrambled back there and uh, got the ball. But looks like the player might be isolated. And they've won a penalty. So Thailand will quick, quickly tap and go. Good feet here. Can she stretch over? Met with a strong tackle. And now they go in. So good start by Thailand is rewarded. Some sustained pressure inside Hong Kong's half. Results in an early five-pointer for them. A lovely bit of play from the, the Thai girl. Yep, it was uh, Kanika Netanan who goes over in number five. Conversion unsuccessful, but Thailand out to an early lead. They've started well. Hong Kong rolling the subs early. China look to get out of their own half. They've been camped in here for basically the whole of the first six and a half minutes. Loose pass though, they've put themselves under pressure and the Thai defence is swarming in on them. Doing well to stay on their feet. Powering through the contact is Skaya Seeker in number 10. Some powerful running from Hong Kong, shrugging off a few tackles. Number four, Emily Fisher. She's won a penalty for her team. They go quickly. Fusika links up on the inside. Some good play here by Hong Kong China. Building pressure. Strong carry into the contact. No one down the blind side, so they look to go open. They've got numbers here. Score and pass and they're in. Oh, good scrambling defence from Thailand, but a nice offload in the tackle. And Emily Fisher in number four ties things up with time up in the first half. That was, that was a lovely passage of play for Hong Kong. Yeah, definitely retained ball through multiple phases, some good support play. Then uh, had the awareness and skills to finish the overlap they'd created on the outside, so good rugby. Pretty tough kick out wide here for Huang. And that's away, so five all, we go into the halftime break. Good game of rugby on. Entertaining first half, both these sides retaining position through multiple phases. As mentioned, it'll be hot work out there, so first order of business will be getting some ice on the back, getting some fluids in, and then delivering one or two key messages. Short half time, and you can't really overload with information. Some nice running here from Thailand.
And they get over for the early score. And here's the reply from Hong Kong China. Nice little offload, gets the arms free and good support play. Hong Kong China in the red to get us underway with the restart. They'll look to get a good kick and kick chase on to create some early pressure. They spent a lot of the first half inside their own territory, so now's an opportunity to get down into Thailand's half. Just a slight delay while we wait for an injured player to be escorted off the field for Thailand. Looks like the player is reluctant to leave the field or... No, I think the assistant referee is trying to sort out the substitution for the Thai girls right there. Okay, so all ready to go. Hong Kong trying to go deep into that Thai 22. Ball's allowed to bounce, but it's set up nicely, so they'll try and work their way across the field, out to the left. Got through half a break and find some support on the inside. Moving the ball wide towards the left, but the pass has gone astray and it's gone back behind. So here come the Hong Kong China defence, but uh, Thailand have worked well to get back there and retain their position. but eventually forced into touch by Hong Kong China. So they'll look to find their jumper calling in number eight. She gets up, but the throw's not straight. So a bit of a lead off there for Thailand. They'll get a scrum 15 in on the 22 inside their own half. Yeah, I feel like the Hong Kong China girls team they're just trying to they're, they're making it a little bit too difficult for themselves. The the Tiger are they're not contesting the line now. It's Good point, yeah. Thailand feed, win it successfully. And they opt for that kick again and there's space at the back. And the bounce is going to be crucial here. It sits up nicely for Thailand. Does she have the speed? Finds her support runner on the inside. Thailand steaming for the line, but Hong Kong China getting back in scrambling defense. Conceded the penalty though. Hong Kong, Thailand move forward. Oh, it's a double blast on the whistle here. It's going to be a yellow card. Is it going to be more than that? No, uh, just a simple yellow, I think. So, the Hong Kong China player wasn't back on side, so she'll go to go and sit down for two minutes. So, Thailand have opted for the scrum. They've got a numerical advantage now. Seven against six. A lot of work to be done by these two Hong Kong China back defenders here. And it's a free kick. And they opt for the tap. Shift it wide and they'll go in next to the post. Actually looked like a high tackle in the process of that scoring movement. But Thailand open their account in the second half with a well taken try. Conversion next to the post and Hong Kong China have got a player in the Sinbin. 
Yeah, these these Thai girls they're not afraid to, you know, boot the boot the rugby down the field and just have a have a quick chase. Yep, and it's well converted by the player in number 13. Sorry, not on the team sheet, so we can't give you a name, but uh, stretches the lead out to 12 points to five. Yeah, no, clever play there. They've witnessed, uh, worked out there's not a sweeper being played back there and uh, used that kicking game to exploit the space a couple of times now. Well, we'll see if we can take advantage of, you know, Hong Kong girl being a woman down. First thing will be to get a good restart away. Yep, just gets over the 10. Hong Kong China looking to retain position, but they're getting swarmed by uh, an aggressive Thai defence. They've got some space out wide though. They can shift it. They could create some problems here. A lot of pace being shown here on the outside. Oh, great break here. It's Saika in number 10. She gets her team on the front foot. Yeah, sure, lovely bit of awareness there. There's no one outside. And they've won a penalty on the back of that. So good break out by Hong Kong China. They look to move it wide into the centre. Ball's been dropped, it's gone backwards though. Building pressure through phases, bit of counter rucking going on here. But they've won a penalty, so they're playing under penalty advantage now. They'll tap and go quickly, Hong Kong China. Oh, met with some strong tackling there again. Managed to recycle their position. Looking to link. And gets the arms free. And a lively step. Can she power over? Yes, she does. Elsie Hume in number 11. Nice little step off the right foot. Drags a couple of defenders with it. So an important conversion coming up for Hong Kong China. Trailing by two. The clock counting down, less than 90 seconds left. Yeah, the Hong Kong China girl, the, they've been quite impressive with their offloading and interlink. Yep, they've probably got a little bit of a height advantage, so when they get through those tackles initially, they get those arms free, but it's the support playoff that, that creates the opportunities. And it'll be Kwong and number 12 to step up. Can she slot this one through and square us up? Moves in, strikes it. And it's just away. So, Thailand holding a two point advantage. Less than a minute left. Hong Kong, China will have the restart. They've got a score to get themselves back in this game, get themselves ahead in this game. Strong kick and it's gone backwards. So Thailand just need to retain position now. But they're going to have a crack out of their half. Linking well. Some nice passing. And a strong run down the left hand flank. Ball's a bit wobbly. Some good defence going in. Has it been lost? No, it's gone backwards. So Thailand, time up on the clock. What will they do? They're going to have a crack on the outside. Steaming for the corner. She's got plenty of pace. And she'll go all the way to seal this game for Thailand. Thailand, take it out. Great run there by number 13. Quite, quite impressive turn of speed there. Yep. She worked hard to get herself on the, on the outside and back to her pace. So a big result for Thailand. Kick to come, but time's up on the clock. Doesn't quite make it. 
But a great win there for Thailand. Yeah, there's a nice Im impressive run out for the uh, Thai girl. Yeah. Yeah, really back to pace. Um, got on the outside and thought she might be covered, but she uh, backed herself. And was rewarded. Players shake hands after a good game of rugby. We were treated to some exciting play from both sides. Finish here, the determination on their face. Great run. So, next up, we'll have the hometown team, Chinese Taipei. And here you can hear the crowd goes up for the first two teams running out onto the pitch Hong Kong, China in the all red strip, and UAE in the uh, black and grey, I will say, or, yep. Exciting day of rugby ahead with uh, silverware to be dished out later on in the cup and plate rounds. Yeah, yesterday we had a great day of rugby all around. Hopefully we'll continue the uh, quality of rugby today. And it'll be uh, Hong Kong to get us underway with the kickoff. It's like uh, number six for Hong Kong, Ella Rose Lynham, to kick us off. Kicks deep-ish into the UAE half. And they look to move it wide down this uh, left-hand flank. Some powerful running. But the Hong Kong defence has got to cross nicely there and forced her into touch. So an early opportunity here for Hong Kong China. They'll have a line-out throw just inside UAE's half. They get up and secure their line out, wrap around and shift it into the midfield. Bit of an inside ball, but hasn't pass hasn't connected, it's gone backwards though. So play on. Hong Kong China looking for space up the left hand side of the pitch. They've retained possession, they're moving it out towards the right here. Set up a ruck in the midfield. UAE going and contest. And Hong Kong China have won a, won a penalty, they need to tap it first. They carry. Nice short ball and a good angled run. Set up some good ruck ball. Oh, and a big contact there in the midfield. Oh, and another big hit. UAE defenders flying in and they've created a turnover. And we'll go back for a knock-on from that huge tackle in the midfield. So some aggressive defence early from the UAE. Moving up as a line and getting shoulders on bodies. And it'll be Hunter and number nine to feed the scrum for them. They've won successfully. Tough pass there, there. So knock on. Hong Kong, China. Back in position. Oh, and there's an intercept here. Good read by the UA defence. And once again, the ball's been lost. So just some handling errors early that have uh, cost both teams.
neither side's really got it deep into the other's territory yet with the ball in hand. But an opportunity here for Hong Kong, China. Oh, and some more big defence coming in from the UAE. Definitely up for this, the UAE, flying off, flying up off the line and um, putting in some big hits early. What do you think about that, Wayne? Yeah, so far, the, both, both sides have been defending well. Um, they're just kind of losing the ball in, in contact, so they need to tighten that up a little bit. Another inaccurate pass is forced uh, knock-on. So this is a good attacking opportunity for the UAE. Centre field scrum, halfway between the 22 and halfway in Hong Kong's half. And they'll get an opportunity to create some pressure here. Huge blind side if they opt to go that way, but they've gone towards the open side. Draw and pass and a good hard run. Sets up a ruck. Ball's been dropped. It's gone backwards, but Hong Kong, China have been ruled offside. So UAE tap and go. Nice little step and show and go there. They've won another penalty for UAE. They tap quickly, shifted out to the left-hand flank. Ah, oh, nice off go there of the contact there. Pull back on the inside, and a great covering tackle by Hong Kong China. I think it was number three for UAE. Kotsia managed to get her arms free in that tackle, get an offload away. But Hong Kong China equal to the task, got across and uh, put the ball carrier into touch. Time off while we have a quick injury replacement. So defence in the ascendancy here in the early stages of this match. And the line-out's been lost, and the UAE through Ward in number eight go in for the first try of day two. Yeah, speaking a little bit on characteristic, yeah, the Hong Kong women's uh, line-out's been pretty good so far, but that one just kind of go astray. And you, you go pounce on the uh, mistake. Yeah, a rear um, inaccurate throw there f and jump from uh, Hong Kong China leads to that try. The kick's away, but the UAE off to a uh, 5-0 lead. As Ward at number 8 goes in. Secured by Hong Kong China. Good little fend in and offload out of the contact. And uh, it's been knocked on, so turnover ball here for the UAE to work with. And another strong tackle. Tackler didn't roll away, however, though. So UAE get a penalty. They shift it towards the right. Counter-ruck coming in from Hong Kong, China, and they've disrupted at the back. Won the ball back, so great work defensively there from Hong Kong, China to turn the ball over. Unfortunately, it's been knocked on. And that'll be the end of this first half. So, going into the break, 
the UAE leading 5-0 over Hong Kong, China. It's been a very competitive match so far. Yeah, some some big hits in the uh, in the first half for both these girls team. Yeah, it's definitely been a bit of a defensive arm wrestle so far. Some strong tackling going in, dislodging the ball and the contact. Oh, look at that. It's An intercept there. Nice little offload out of the contact, but another hard tackle. You can see the dust puff up on this hard surface as well. And it was just a, an uncharacteristic error there from Hong Kong, China that led to that first try. Good awareness from number eight Ward for UAE to see the opportunity. And dot down. Good travelling support for both of these sides. And it'll be Andrews in five to kick us off for the UAE. Hangs a nice restart into the Hong Kong half, Hong Kong China half. But they've retained position. Once again, under some defensive pressure. Looking for some width. And another strong contact there. Being driven back deep into their half, Hong Kong China. with some, a succession of good defensive hits. Oh, and another one here. Breakdown turnover, no release there. So Hong Kong, China get an opportunity to try and exit their 22. And they have done, courtesy of a nice touch finder. been pinned deep in their half so far Hong Kong China so good option to exit through the penalty kick and they move it look for that cross field but it's gone straight up in the air fortunately for them I think it's been knocked on by the UAE So not a lot of space for Hong Kong China to operate in, so they've looked to kick it. But that one just went sideways. What do they need to do to get out of their own ter territory here, Wayne? Well, I mean, they're the right idea, you know, trying to boot it out, but I think the execution is just um, a little bit um, lacking there. Um, I think that kick just hit the side of her boot. So Hong Kong trying to feed a scrum, but they've uh, lost it. It's gone against the head. And there's an opportunity here for the UAE. Some good scramble from Hong Kong China initially. And they look to move it out to the left. Oh, some good defence there. Holds up the, uh, the runner for... UAE, they have a second go, and it's a try. And the 
the UAE open the scoring in the second half through Adina Ruby Hunter in number nine. Right from the kickoff, they've had Hong Kong China locked in their own half. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice little bit of play by a uh, heads up play by Hunter there. To see the um, rider break down, there was no one there to um, block block it off. So just easy try. Yeah, it's a good work initially by the Hong Kong China defence to hold up the ball carrier in the corner, but just the relentless pressure from the UAE eventually told, and it's been dropped straight from the kickoff. So. UAE get another opportunity to attack. Hong Kong China opting to roll on some fresh legs. Three subs coming on. Yeah, we see these. You see if these new players can uh, change their change their style a little bit. They need to do something to relieve themselves of these pressure that UA has been putting on them. Yeah, definitely. And they've done a lot of work inside their own half, so which will be quite energy sapping, so a good idea to sub on some fresh legs. <laughs> Try score a hunter to feed the scrum for the UAE. And that's gone against the head. So Hong Kong China have an opportunity now. Linking up down this left-hand flank. Once again, some strong defence coming in from the UAE. And they've won themselves a defensive uh, penalty at the breakdown. So good work by UAE there. Strong carry and then the offload, but it's gone astray. So this pressure defence from the UAE paying dividends for them in this half. And they'll roll on us up. Number four, Bennis replaces the try scorer, Hunter. And uh, Hong Kong China will have a replacement in their scrum half role with Kwong coming on in number 12. It'll be Hong Kong China to feed, looking to exit their 22. They've spent the whole half down here so far. Loose ball at the back of the scrum under pressure, but they've done well. Hong Kong China attempting to find some space but, and some nice stepping there from Hong Kong China. Gives them a bit of forward momentum. But this aggressive defensive press from the UAE has been difficult to break so far. Opportunity here for Hong Kong China, moving it out to the right. And a great read there by the UAE. And it'll be Kutsia and number three that'll go round and slam it down behind the post. Yeah, the pressure from the UAE is finally paid off. Yeah, that's the very well drilled defensive unit, the UAE. They hold their shape very well and there's not a lot of opportunities for Hong Kong China here. Seventeen nil, kick successful. Amberson slots adds the extras.
so Hunter will get us underway. The restart is hooked. So opportunity for Hong Kong China here. Free kick in the middle of the field. Can they find a way through this UA defensive wall? Time up on the clock, so an opportunity for a bit of a consolation try here. Kwong taps and goes quickly. Links with their support. Offloads out of the contact. And another wild pass. But there's a bit of space on the left-hand flank here. Ah, oh, the great cover to Hackle. So... UAE take it out. 17 points to nil. And they're pretty excited with that win. Bit of a defensive masterclass there from the UAE. Yeah, absolutely. These girls woke up this morning and decided, you know what, let's go out and tackle some people. Yeah, definitely. Hong Kong China toiled hard, but very difficult to break down a well-structured structured defense like that. Good applause from both sets of fans. Both these sides have played some good rugby throughout the tournament so far. The Indian team just going through their uh, pre-match ritual. package in this tournament. I hadn't seen a lot of Indian rugby before but they've certainly played with a lot of tenacity. Look to be uh, very well conditioned and organised. Yeah, this Indian girls team has been uh, really impressive so far in this tournament. Um, it's shown a lot of uh, defensive grit and, um, and a nice bit of uh, outside running. Yep, and uh, Hong Kong China, a traditional stronghold of uh, Asian Sevens Rugby, and they've put together some nice play as well over the past uh, couple of days, so should be a good contest between a couple of very good sides. Yeah, absolutely, and once again there's a contrast of style um, with you know, Hong Kong China being a little bit more um, on the physical side. And the um, and the got a chanting battle going on in, in front of us between the NBA and the Hong Kong fans. India kick off. Hong Kong China. Early possession. They get through one. Carry strongly into the Indian half. High tackle. So Hong Kong China. First opportunity for them. They tap and go quickly through Hate Fish at number three. Big feed coming in there from Hong Kong China. They set up a ruck. And it's the tall figure of Saika who goes forward for uh, Hong Kong China. They've found a little bit of space down the right hand flank. It's Haruka and Nine who carries forward strongly. Ball's uh, lost forward in the contact, so India with an early penalty. They'll tap and go quickly. The diminutive number four carries it forward, finds a support runner. And some good work at the breakdown by Hong Kong China secured them a penalty. Hype Helpfish carries the ball forward strongly for Hong Kong China. And they win another penalty. Saika takes it forward for Hong Kong China. Indian tackler not rolling away, so Hong Kong have a chance here. They tap. Go themselves. Ah! Oh. And some good work there by Kwong in number 12. She'll go in for Hong Kong twice. 
of Robin Kleiner's first try. Yeah, so far you can see the, the big contrast in style. The, uh, the Hong Kong China team really want to take that ball up, dragging defender with them. And yep. um, that created a nice little overlap on the outside. Huang fails to convert her own try, but Hong Kong China hold a five points to nil lead. Have carried strongly to get over the game line and uh, create some pressure, which has needed a few penalties in a row. Been a good finish from them. Huang goes up the middle, well fielded by India. Draw and pass, looking to find space up the middle. They set up a ruck, just shy of the 10 metre line. Little dummy and go, resulting in a high tackle. So, once again, India tap and go quickly. Link well with their support runners. Pass. Wobbles backwards and they're under a bit of pressure here. Hacked through by Hong Kong China. And the ball's fly kicked over touch, over the touch line. So Hong Kong China. Nice little bit of cover defense there by the Indian team. They'll throw a line out. It'll be the try scorer, Kwong. Oh. Ball spilled back on the Indian side, so they get an opportunity to break out. Ball pops out. It's been taken by Hong Kong China. And a breakdown penalty sees Hong Kong China through Slacker at number 10. Offloading the contact. Hong Kong China pressing hard here. Can they find a, a runner? Oh. Offside. Indian defence uh, up too quickly. This Indian has been uh, under tremendous pressure. Oh, And it's Kong again. Smart player. Sees the opportunity. Taps and goes herself. And Hong Kong China going in for a second try. That's a nice little bit of quick sinking by uh, Huang there. Yeah, definitely. She's got some good instinct for the game. She'll attempt to convert her own try. Steps forward. Strikes this one nicely, but it's banged straight into the upright. So 10 nil it remains. We've seen yesterday that India have got the ability to come back from big deficits. Hong Kong, China controlling things nicely here at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I think the uh, Hong Kong, China thing so far has used their advantage. Um, their little size advantage here to dominate again so far. Yeah, just been able to retain position through multiple phases and that's led to some uh, penalties coming their way. Kong kicks this off, India through Suresh and eight, carries forward strongly, Kumari and Ford makes a little half break, finds some space on the outside, and now here's a chance for India, has she got the pace, oh, great covering defence from uh, Hong Kong China there, it was Fisher in number four, got across and cut Kumari down in the corner, that's a lovely bit of a cover defense there by the Hong Kong team, or Hong Kong China team. Yeah, Emily Fisher, number four, worked hard for her team, got across and created a knock on after a good break down the sideline from uh, number 11, Kumari. And Hong Kong China win a scrum. Ah, good footwork there from Hong Kong China. They found some space and a lovely wide ball, just a little bit too far high. Fisher goes back and picks it up. Well tackled, but places it on her own team's side. 
Hong Kong China working hard to get out of their own half. Pass called in. Offload out of the contact. And now here's a chance for India if this ball bounces up. And it has. And India will go in for their first try. And it's number six, Singh. Once again, this uh, Indian girls team's defense has uh, created a little turnover chance. And uh, as you can see, they love to pounce on that little mi any mis little mistake. Kick is just away, so 10 points to 5, Hong Kong, China over India. Some good defensive pressure results in a, an opportunity for number 6, Singh, to go in for India's first try. So competitive first half of rugby sees Hong Kong China up 10 points to 5 over India yeah I think this Indian team will be um, happy with that result at half time yeah they um, got off to a slow start courtesy of Hong Kong recycling the ball through multiple phases but uh, had an opportunity from from some uh, defensive pressure there and finished it well. That's that's kind of been their style um, throughout um, the tournament play in the last couple of days. Very, very good um, defensive pressure and then, you know, off the pressure, create turnover and any turnover, they just pounce on it. Yep, they work hard on defense and uh, when they create those opportunities, they've got some pace to finish on the counter attack. So anybody's game, narrow lead, here we see Kwong charging forward, getting a fend going, showing some good leg drive, sorry that wasn't Kwong, it was uh, Umatsu, it's Kwong here. Yeah, love a little bit of a show and go there, you just open that gap up for her. Use that dummy effectively on two occasions now. And some great chasing on cover defence there by number four Fisher to dislodge that. That would have been a, a try for all money. Oh, for sure, that's definitely a try, a try seven tackle. And in this offload, just una unable to be fielded here, and it all bounces up nicely for. Kumari, oh sorry, for number six, Singh, who goes in for a try. And it'll be Hong Kong, China to get us underway. You can hear the crowd going crazy for, um, for this match. Deep kick, fielded well by India. They have an opportunity to exit their own half. Shifting the ball wide to the left hand touch and the bouncing space here. India, has she got the pace? The cover coming across, but she's got too much speed. And India will go in to level things up. It's uh, Patel, Patel and number one. Well, this, this Indian girls team has shown time and time again they can strike from anywhere on the pitch. Just give them a sliver of daylight and off they go. Yep, some nice passing to give the opportunity to Patel. So Tino kick to come. And yeah. game all locked up. Six minutes left. This one could be a nail biter, two evenly matched sides playing some good footy here. Yeah, it could be anyone's game right now. Shukla and number five will get us away for India. Chips it over that first line of Hong Kong defence. Fielded by Fisher. He carries strongly, sets up a breakdown midfield. Rigby gets her arms free and gets the ball away. And here we go for Hong Kong China. They look like they're going to strike back immediately. Great run here. 
and she'll take it round and put it under the post. So nice work there by Seeker in number 10. Oh, it's a lovely bit of running. She just, just pinned her hair back and just went for it. Yeah, good good initial piece of work by the carrier. Um, I think it was Rigby that got her arms free in the contact and got an offload out over the top and then a clean pair of heels shown. And uh, the lead's been extended, so 17 points to 10. Good awareness to go under the sticks and make it an easier opportunity for a goal kicker. Yeah, in a tight match like this, um, that could be the difference between um, winning a game and losing a game. We'll see if these uh, Indian team can pull something out of their back pocket. I mean, they've done it time and time again. Yeah, they've come back strongly in a few games this weekend. Kwong opts to go deep this time. India fielding it deep inside their own half through Kamari. She has a go. Find some space on the outside. Feeding the speed. And some uh, good covering defence there. Hulls are in. But India retaining possession here. Looking for an opportunity. She can get the ball away out here. There could be trouble. Uh, good scramble from Hong Kong though. Nicely picked up there from India. India, they've broken through. India. She needs to take it round to give her kicker the option. Gets it pretty close to the sticks. So strong running from Bianca Vincent in number seven. It's a nice pick up from her off the floor. And then she showed a clean pair of heels. Yeah, both teams have uh, shown some great running here in the second half. And it'll be Shukla who steps up to try and level this game. Nice strike, and we're at 17 points all. <laughs> yeah, the spectator in front of us was telling her to get closer to the post, and I guess the uh, vice work. Yeah, so will that kick over the Indian spectators? Both teams are well supported here today. Shukla with the kickoff. Oh. Just makes the 10 metres. Oh, and it's been spilt by Hong Kong China, but it's gone backwards. Hong Kong China with possession. We linked some nice play here on the wraparound and they've created an overlap. Here's a chance. Ball's gone backwards. Still working it out towards this right-hand touchline. Bit of a goose step. Finds some support on the inside. Does well to drag it in. Gets the ball away out of contact. Hong Kong, China. Oh, and I've lost it. So an opportunity here for India to counter-attack. They link back on the inside. Bobbling ball and they've knocked it on. So a chance here for Hong Kong, China. Good speed shown here by Umetsu. Finds some support on the inside from Rigby. She gets the ball away. And Kong will go in for a hat trick. So Hong Kong, China, out to a 22 points to 17 lead. A great bit of a defending by the, by the Indian girls team. Unfortunately, the, um, the Hong Kong China girl just able to get that, you know, little pass away. Kicks missed, so still a one score game. Hong Kong China, 22, 17. Mistake on the uh, graphic there, I think. Good, good work in the contact there by Rigby. Got her arms free and fed Kwong. It's still anyone's game with a little bit over 30 seconds to go. Indian crowd willing their team home. Good supporting 
this game out time up on the clock ahead by five Hong Kong China need to secure the scrum and kick it out for India it's a case of trying to put some pressure on here and forcing a turnover Hong Kong China feed their scrum India coming through hard ball spills out to the side and it's gone loose India and created a turnover at the breakdown and they'll get the final opportunity with ball in hand links on the outside pass has gone astray it's been knocked on by hong kong china though so india will have another, another opportunity with time up on the clock ah oh, but that's the end end of the game so hong kong china take this thriller 22-17. Oh, that was a little unfortunate. I saw the uh, Indian girls going to treat us to some last-second magic again. Yep. Valiant attempt by India, but Hong Kong China are too good in the end. They hold on. 22 points to 17. Quality game of rugby. Yeah, absolutely. One, two, three. Yeah, these girls oh, oh, really oh. have treated us. Okay。各队联络人，请带着你们每一队到场中间这边集合。我们要拍团体照，大团体照。中华台北男子队也到场中间集合，请带上你的队伍，谢谢。And I told you, you can speak English now. Okay. Okay. All teams, please come on venue. We have now group yeah, photo. So we're just going to take a short break. Please call all teams on venue. And Iranian team, Iran, Iran, Iranian team, Iran, Iran, be, uh, come, come, group photo now. 245 as we say so India, India team, Hong Kong try. China India, India girls well taken try by Patil yeah, okay. Hong Kong strike back please call all teams on venue great work there by Seeker strong running Anita Anita nice little bit of Where is Anita? And as Wayne mentioned it's um Hong Kong China in the red versus Thailand again in that distinctive gold and blue hooped uniform. Good match in store here. Both these teams have played some good rugby throughout the last two days. Yeah, absolutely. Um and the last game, the Hong Kong China girl was a bit of a cracker between uh, Hong Kong China and India. Yep. So both these teams will be wanting to finish their tournament on a high with a win. Hong Kong China to get us underway through number 12 Kwong she scored a hat trick in their victory over India in the previous game nice restart from her find some space immediately ball allowed to bounce out by Thailand And 
It'll be PNJ to throw the ball for Thailand. She goes deep over the back. Ball comes out on Thailand's side. A little bit of a wrap around here. They give half a gap for their speedster out wide. Backs herself for pace, but good scrambling defense from Hong Kong, China. Thailand, though, retaining position. Crabbing across the field. And they've spilt the ball in contact. So some good uh, covering defense at the back from Hong Kong, China. Snuffs out an early raid from Thailand. And it'll be Hong Kong, China who have their first opportunity, ball in hand. Midfield scrum. They win it. Kwong goes by herself down the narrow side. Puts on a bit of footwork. Gets around one, but covered well. Does well to stay in the field of play. Sets up a ruck right on the touchline. Good linking play from Hong Kong, China. They carry strongly through Fitzhenry, who gets a lovely offload out the back. Away, and building pressure now, Hong Kong, China. They've got numbers out here to the left. Thailand do well to track across. They've worked a wrap around on the outside. Held up, but she goes to ground, the seeker. And nice offload out of the contact there. Some footwork by Kwong. She stretches out and dives over. So good work there by Kwong. Yeah, initially the um, I saw the Thai girls had her, but she didn't give up. Yep, just so keep pushing. Yeah, she danced around on that touch line. Good work inside her again from Rigby, whose uh, offloading has been a feature of this Hong Kong China team's performance. Looks like uh, Kwong's exhausted after that, and she's gone off the field, so we've got a sub on. Chan Shi Hung at number seven, who will assume the kicking roles. Yeah, after that run, she deserves a nice break. Yeah, she scored four tries in her last two games. Busy day for her. Kick off from Hong Kong, China. Allowed to bounce, but fielded this time by Thailand. They shift it out towards the left-hand touch. Work a wee wrap around, but opt to switch back the other way. Lateral running and a big don't argue. Gets her through the initial line of contact. Thailand, they've set up a ruck. Well covered so far by Hong Kong. But a little bit of space out wide here now. Cuts back in, links outside again. And Hong Kong China have gone in there and contested that breakdown but conceded a penalty. Thailand carries strongly up to halfway. Recycle position again. Going hard at the gap, gets her arms free, finds the runner on the outside. Defence tracking across nicely. Good covering tackle there from Hong Kong, China. Links up on the inside, but that one's forward. So, sustained period of ball and play and position from Thailand, but the Hong Kong, China defence is up to it. Yeah, the, the Tiger has shown a really good offloading skill in this uh, tournament so far. The other option they've also utilised is that little chip kick through. So I wonder if we'll see that at some point. Yeah, they, they, like, they like to keep that one in the back pocket, you know. I'm pull, sure. Pull it out for a special occasion, maybe late in the game. Yeah, absolutely. So it's Hong Kong China holding a five points to nil lead over Thailand.
substitution and playmaker number seven, Chan Shi Hung for Hong Kong China feeds. Ball spills out on their side. They look to go to the outside channels and it's the, the lady with some speed. It's Sika, she's gone on a long arcing run but well covered by the Thai defence there. That was a determined run by the uh, by the Hong Kong China player. Yep, but uh, good covering defence there by number seven, Chai Kick. Got across well. Covered that outside break. So Thailand have an opportunity to try and equalise. Got to nail this line out first. And it'll be Mim Bam Rong and number eight to feed the line out for them. They've secured it. Shifting the ball. Runner we wrap around and another player wrapping around. Uh, but the pass has gone loose. So playing advantage now for Hong Kong. They've found some space up the middle. Ball spilled of contact and there's, that's enough advantage. So it is Thailand with the possession here. Deep inside their own half. Not coming out of that ruck. So we'll go to the initial infringement. Clock kicking down, ticking down here. Hong Kong, China holding a five points to nil lead over Thailand. It's time for a sub for them. Number nine, Udom Fongdi coming on. Looking to inject a bit of energy just before the half-time break. Yeah, we'll see if a fresh pair of leg can inject some magic into these um, the Thai attacking. Got a long way to go. They've got a midfield scrum, but it's 20 metres out from their own goal line. Feeds the scrum and a good shunt there from Hong Kong, China, and they've won the possession, they've won a penalty. So they tap and go quickly. Shows and goes, and the Hong Kong, China will go in just before half time for a critical score here. Good work there initially by the Hong Kong China Fords and they've created an opportunity which was well taken out wide. Did you see a number on that player, Wayne? No. Sorry about that, but a great try nonetheless. Yeah, it was really good work by the um, by the Hong Kong Chinese pack there. Just that little squeeze right before halftime. Yeah, good concerted drive there from the Hong Kong China pack to create that opportunity. So Hong Kong China go into the break, leading 12 points to nil over Thailand in this girls under 18 third and fourth playoff. As we've seen before in sevens, it can change pretty quickly. Yeah, with this uh, Thai girls team, they've shown, you know, time and time again, they can strike from anywhere. So nice off offloading here. Uses their height well. And good draw and pass. Gives uh, Kwong the opportunity to open the scoring. Yeah, it's a nice little inside-outside outside, inside, outside step there by Huang. Good covering defence from Thailand there. And we finish the half with a try here. Initially looked at the wraparound, and I think it's number four, so that's Emily Fisher. Good work by her. Thailand will get us underway in the second half. Looks like they're going to kick out towards the left. So well secured by Hong Kong China. They carry forward strongly. Flicks out an offload. Powerful running here. 
I think it's uh, Jasmine Henry in number one. She's made a huge amount of ground there. And Hong Kong China looks for the support player on the wrap. Goes herself, but gets the hands through. Oh, and it's just gone down. But here's an opportunity for Thailand to counter, but good defence. Pushes the Thai player into touch. Yeah, that was a beautiful move, just a little bit on, uh, unfortunate with that last um, handling error there. Yeah, it did well initially, got the hands through contact, freed up, freed up the arms to make that pass to the outside. Got a sub coming on for Hong Kong China. Number 11, Hume. Nice applause for the player being subbed off by the uh, Hong Kong travelling support. Thailand need to get themselves back into this game quickly, trailing by 10, five minutes left. They feed a scrum just outside their 22. Working that wrap around again. Passes out of the contact. And on a long arcing run here, Thailand, good power from the Thai player, gets through a couple of tackles, sets up a ruck. Oh, and a massive hit there from uh, Hong Kong. And that's some great defensive work. I think that was Rigby in two. Chose their moment well there cut the Thai player in half and uh, forced a knock on. Call that one a rib tickler. A little bit. You know what? I'm never stepping on the field with these girls. No, quite happy to be up in the commentary box. Right, here's a set move, but the pass has gone backwards and deep into to uh, Hong Kong territory, but they've retained possession. Ooh, and another strong hit by Thailand, so they've come back with one of their own. Ball spills clear and there's a bit of space now. Pops the ball over the top, Hong Kong, China. Some good defense coming in here from Thailand, and they've got over the ball and won themselves a penalty. They'll look to tap and go quickly. And here's that kick we talked about. Oh, wobbly old ball. Ball bobbling around and uh, Thailand eventually win a knock, knock on. So good pressure on that kick from Thailand. Yeah, I think, I think they heard you earlier. They're going to keep that one in the pocket. It's definitely time to pull it out. So they're trailing by 10 points. Three minutes left. And it looks like uh, the prolific try scorer Kwong has recovered and she's found her way back out on the field in the number 12 shirt. So... Thailand's best opportunity so far to score some points on the five metre mark towards the left hand touch line. Can they win their scrum? Strong push come through from Hong Kong and created a wobbly pass but it's just pulled in from Thailand. They look to move it back towards the left again. Set up a ruck, six metres out from the Hong Kong China line. Thailand, looking for some space, found a half a gap. But Hong Kong China managed to grab her jersey and haul her in. Good defensive read here from Hong Kong China. And they've created an opportunity for themselves. Does she have the pace? She's running hard. The crowd go up. And Hong Kong China will seal this one. Great read and an intercept.
absolutely exhausted. Yeah, it's been a long weekend for these um, boys and girls here. But Seeker goes in for Hong Kong to seal the third, fourth playoff for them, you'd think. Still time left, but it's a three-score game now. Well, hopefully the, the coach will tell them to take their time with his kick. Yeah, eat up a bit of the clock. And Kong makes no mistake, so Hong Kong China leading 17 points to nil over Thailand. Very timely intercept there. Yeah. I think, I think some of these girls are just running out of gas. It's been a long weekend of uh, fast-paced action here. But still enough gas in the tank from number 10, Seeker there, to go the length of the field. Opt to kick <coughs> into the tie 22 there, and it's been allowed to bounce, and it's rolling back towards the touchline, so Thailand opt for that kick, but... I don't think any of the chasers really knew that was the option. And it gives Hong Kong China an opportunity to finish this game with another score. Powerful carry up towards the 22. Ball's been dislodged, but it's gone backwards. Some nice stepping here. Gets a pass away. And a nice little offload here. Rigby gets her arms free again and sets up another try. And it's the substitution that came on is Hume. So good work from her on the support line off a nice offload from Rigby. Hong Kong China finish on a high. Yeah, it looked like the girl put an exclamation mark on the on this match. Yep, Thailand in this match for a, for a long period of time, but Hong Kong China just snatched it away in the last two minutes. Final act of the weekend for Kwong. Kicks away, but 22-0 to Hong Kong China over Thailand. And they celebrate. They've had a good weekend. Yeah. Great show for Effort Von Bogdan's team the whole weekend. They can be proud of their work. Yeah, the Hong Kong girl, uh, the Hong Kong China girl just came out victor in this uh, third and fourth place playoff. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, nice to see them go over and celebrate with your injured player there, so that's a nice touch for them. Yeah. Thai Thailand, for their part, they've played valiantly through the weekend. Contested the game really hard. We're in it for a long part of the match. And just that intercept at the end really uh, snuffed out their hopes, but they can hold their heads up. They've contributed well to this tournament. Yeah, the Hong Kong Chin Chinese team just waiting for the uh, Thai team. I'm gonna shake hands. Yep, good sportsmanship as we've seen all weekend. It's been some hard rugby, but it's been clean and uh, well contested. And, uh, the teams have uh, always made a point of uh, shaking hands after the match. Yeah, it's good to see. Um, it's good to see that in rugby. So next up.